All right, bye everybody. Welcome back to the show. Let me open up my, my beer. I got moose head. Last time you had a moose head, huh? I think it's from uh, Canada. I think it's brewed in Canada, up north of here. And yeah, this is just mangling this thing up. Moose head log. Okay. Gotta put it in my research cup. I need, I need, I need to put it in the research cup. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're here today, as you know. Put my knife away. Gotta open it up. Cut that little safety. There we go. Okay. All right. I I used to use a Gerber. I don't know. What, I, I hit it with a lawnmower. I, I forgot it out in the, the yard. And I hit it with a lawnmower. Had the pliers. A multi tool. An everyday carry. EDC carry multi-tool and then I had this one at right I mangled that thing up I had this one this is from Walmart you got a glass breaker you got a, a, is it a seat belt cutter or a line cutter you have a this thing does have a lot you got a ferro rod where you can you know start a fire um, this one here this one is nice because I haven't seen a little flashlight and that's not all this little sucker comes out stainless ain't it well and as a magnet you can stick it to stuff i mean it's, it's a nice i think it was like 14 dollars for this thing and it has the blade i don't care for the serrated edges but that's fine the bottle opener and a belt clip i like a belt clip because i don't always wear a belt you know well My wife got me the leather and these are supposed to be very good and she bought this and this is a signal we got the destruction booklet now I'm gonna put the camera here so we can see what I'm talking about all right let's open this sucker up I probably can't read it okay it shows you all of the st stuff using your leather man and it has a different languages. Um, it has a different different other ones that they make. The crunch, the signal, the, the surge, you know. But mine, these have a 25 year limited liability, 25 year warranty on these things. Now the case, <clears throat> all right, it's like heavy duty. I like these things because it snaps. Sheath made in China. Oh, that's not right. Couldn't make this in America? All right. That's like a stretchy material there. And that snaps on. It's probably easy to get to, you know. Yeah. All right. That'll hold. I've seen some with magnets. And I was like, yeah, that ain't going to hold very tight. I hear this bad boy. You got all kinds of functions. You actually got things that you could buy to add to this. Now, this is a hammer. They call it a hammer, and there's a little bit. Like for a bit, you can twist. There's uh, your carabiner clip, and you got your leather mag. You got your clip there, and your this looks like a sharpener or a diamond sharpener right here. Let's open this up. Wait, it's kind of locked, ain't it? All right, there we go. That's a lock for that, so it doesn't add. Just doesn't open up it stops it all right now we got your wire strippers wire cutters on both sides the blades are replaceable too there isn't there's no wobble in that at all nothing and you got your different needle nose pliers and you got a, a you know for a bigger bolt you can grab it really hard with that darn thing all right that's pretty cool I like that bit driver pretty cool all right you can really, it's not, that, yeah, you can put it on this side, because that was hitting my palm, and I'm like, you can really clamp down on that. You know how many times I've needed a wire cutter? The one I had, the Gerber, did have a wire cutter, but these overlap like scissors, and you can put a wire in there, you can strip it, that's nice, how it, how it goes up, it goes in and up, it goes around, that's pretty cool, that's really thought, they really thought that one out. I like that. 
it's a little tight, but you know, as you use it, it'll it'll be all right. And coming with the blade, I got that thumb hole in there. Okay, the serrated, I don't care for. Oh, that's sharp for. Okay, and it locks in there. A lot of people don't know how to to, to release one of these when you open it, and usually it's a thing like right here. You can see to open it up, it clips out there like this one. It does the same thing. It has this little thing right here. You slide it over, and it locks it. But uh, it just does basically the same thing. It's a nice. It's like a. I think that's a Tonto blade. I don't know. See this side. This side. Oh, okay, you gotta grab it from here. All right. Oh, it's, if that's put in there just for your fingernail. That locks into place. That's nice and sharp. I mean, you're not gonna cut something giant with this. Just do like a wrist bone or a finger bone. Or like a like a branch that's not too thick. I mean, it's just something to get get the job done like really quick. All right. And I said it before. Now the hammer has the bit. Now let's take this thing out. How do I how do I get this bad boy out of here? Let me let me look at this. I might have to open it up. All right. What's this? Got a little little flu dingy there. All right. Okay, this is the ferro rod, and this actually has a, a distress whistle. Now, I like that. That's pretty cool. I like how it locks in there, too. That's pretty nice. It's like a spring-loaded lock. That's very nice. To get lost in the woods, it's good to have a whistle, because you're going to scream and scream and scream, and you're going to lose your voice, and you're not going to be able to scream. A whistle, even if you're, like, trapped into, like... You know, some bush bushes or under construction stuff uh, like wood and stuff like a tornado or something, man. You got that thing. You pull that thing out and start whistling your butt off. All right, we got this. I can't. I gotta, okay, you slide that out of there. There's. A, it's a sharpener. It sharpens your knife with that blade. That clips in there pretty nice. All right. Now, this releases. You can get to your blades over here. All right, got a little awl, and uh, I don't know what you call that, but it's not really sharp. It's for scraping and cut, you know, engraving or something like that. I, I don't know. And you got yourself a bottle opener, can opener, bottle opener. I think everybody has one of them dang things on there. And then this one's pretty nice too. This one. I wonder what this is for. Oh, that's just to get get it up out of there. This has a bit that you these are locked in there until you push this down. And you slide it back down and yeah, like that. And that locks. It has a, a Phillips and a Robinson. And you can, you know, twist it out of there. And there are other ones that you can buy. You can get extras for this you could buy like extensions and stuff but who doesn't have a bit that'll fit in there like an extra bit or whatever but i don't know where you're going to put it on this there's no holder for it so that is pretty sweet this this one costs i, I priced them 130 dollars now i like this too this it, it, it locks in there you put, pull this thing down and it locks it so it doesn't open up somebody with it so there it is it's a it's a nice everyday carry you always need something you always need a knife you always need a pair of pliers at least and it's nice to have a bottle opener so there you go i want to see how many years is this going to last me we'll see it's uh oh it has 45 degrees north 120 degrees west that must be where they're located at. So that's all of the, the, the stuff I know that's on this darn thing. How tight does this fit in here? That doesn't look very good. It's going to be able to fit in very easily with that belt. That belt loop kind of catches. Maybe turning it upside down. That's better. Because the belt thing catches on the side. You know, it'd be easier just to put it in upside down like the hammer up. Okay, it's flat. And snap that sucker in there. It doesn't snap. Okay, it does snap. All right, I didn't hear it snap. There you go. That's not bad at all. 
Now, you could have made the sheath in, uh, in, in America. I don't know why. Where is this made? Where is this made? Where is this made? Huh? Huh? Portland. It doesn't say where it's made. Is it made in America? I don't know. Anyways, there you go. I'm going to be putting this sucker to use forever. So, I'll see you in the next one. Get yourself a lemon. They have a bunch of different different kinds and, you know, different... Somehow are like vice grips and everything, so... You'll see uh, me using this sucker in my uh, future videos, you know? Doesn't have an icebreaker, but how... <laughs> A glass breaker, but how often do you need a glass breaker? I don't know. It's just something they put on there. That is a nice little thing. I got this in at Walmart about five years ago. It's not bad, but I like something with more multi-tool. You need pliers. You need some pliers and water cutters on all the time. So there you go. I'm done. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, no when to say when. Sure.